funded scholarship that you can apply to right now and if you look at this session it says total scholarship value is 100 percent cost fee pay and number offer is four years okay so what this actually means is that this scholarship is going to cover 100 percent of your tuition fee for the duration of your study so which means those who want to also apply to bachelor program can also get this type of scholarship that is why it's up to four years and if your program is a master degree program which is just a two years offer you can also get this scholarship right now one of the eligibility requirements is that you must be an international student to apply to this scholarship right now you must also be ready to apply to either undergraduate program or graduate program at this particular university that i will be sharing with you in today's video you will not only get your tuition fee being paid for you are also going to get 14,000 aud allowance per year that's australian dollar and you are also going to get on-campus accommodation so which means this scholarship also cover your accommodation and you are also going to be getting the course for your student visa and you are also going to be getting additional three thousand australian dollar one of establishment payment and there is one return flight ticket in the first year of your study at this particular university today okay how can you apply what are the process to follow what are the programs that are available on the university website all of this that are information that i will be sharing with you in today's video so one thing i want you to do is to make sure you sit back and watch this video to the very end so that you can get better intelligence about this particular university and the scholarship that is available today one thing that is certain for you to know is that it's not just about applying to scholarship is about checking if your program of interest is available at this particular school and if you meet the requirements as you can see on this page there are 211 graduate program and also 147 uh, undergraduate program so if you take this one after the other to check the programs that are available if you scroll down right here you're going to see accounting program they have uh, actuarial study they have addictive behavior addictive behavior advanced uh, advanced finance advanced healthcare practice advanced nursing aeromedical uh, retriever analysis which is graduate program and one thing i want to pay your attention to is that some of these programs are online program so you don't want to make sure or you want to make sure you are not applying to a program that is an online program so if we click on the undergraduate program you are going to see that they have different undergraduate program and also the graduate program itself so if you look at this accounting program right here you're going to see accounting is a master degree program and there's no online information here so if you scroll down to this section where we have this uh analytics program you are going to see that this is an online program so one of the things you also need to look out to is that you are not just applying to a program that will be taught online you are applying for a program that you you will have to apply for your uh, study permit or your visa okay so once you find your program of interest then the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and check your eligibility okay so let's say for example i want to look into this artificial intelligence master degree program and when i click on that it brings us to this page where we can find information about the program at a glance and as you can see the location here is two different campuses so you want to choose the one you want uh when you are actually uh, doing your program okay so today we are looking at australia and you already know australia is one of the top destination for whosoever want to migrate abroad this year and there are a lot of opportunity that i will be sharing with you from australia this program is a two-year program being it uh, being a master degree program and as you can see qualification that you are going to be getting is master of artificial intelligence if you scroll down here you're going to see a section where you can see fee note that there is no school or university or college that you can apply to that does not have application fee or tuition fee most cases they will have to waive this application fee based on one criteria or the rest 
okay so this particular program also have tuition fee but because you will be applying to a scholarship you are going to be getting all your tuition fee being waived okay so now we can read overview about this program the entry requirement the cost structure application and fee okay now if we click on overview you can see information here if you also click on entry requirement you can see basic requirements you need to make sure you fulfill and if you are applying to this program you need entry level 96 points to complete okay duration is a two-year uh full-time four-year part-time okay and australia bachelor degree or equivalent necessary in it with at least 60 percent average okay so that is what you need to make sure you have before you can apply to this master degree program there are 211 master degree program at this particular school that you can actually look into today now let's look at the course structure so if you click on the course structure then you can see more information here and they actually put uh they actually reference to a document that you can actually check out and when it comes to application and fee you're going to see here it says future student semester one is going to start by february and semester two is going to start by july okay and there are two different uh application buttons here okay so you just need to make uh your decision to know what you want to go for and when it comes to fee and international fee fee are per 48 credit points which represent the standard tuition cost load for a year this fee for 2024 are 49,500 Australian dollar okay so that is what you have to pay if you are applying for this uh, program without a scholarship okay but because we are going to be applying to that scholarship so before I take you to the scholarship I just want us to look at uh, proper information about the normal process you need to follow to this school if you are not applying to a scholarship okay and when you look at this section right here here it says we offer over 360 type of scholarship value at up to 280,000. some scholarship offer one off payment while other continue for the length of your course so the one i show you at the beginning of the program actually cover your course of tuition okay and if you look at it here you are going to be paying 49,000 for your tuition fee and all the costs of scholarship that are being valued up are valued up to 280,000. Okay, so you can see that your old tuition fee can actually be waived off. And if you scroll down, you're going to see enrollment obligation and all of those other information how to apply. Yes, okay. Now, I've seen all of this. Let's also go back to the program where we have the undergraduates. Okay, undergraduate specialization. Then we also have the undergraduate major and minor okay so and if you scroll down here you're going to see information about how to apply now start your application start your degree uh graduate degree in 2024 make your mark with a scholarship so uh just hold on i'm going to be showing you relevant information in today's video so what i want us to look at first is uh start your application so i'm going to open this page so let's open this page and see start your application so this uh, this i think is for undergraduate or okay i think it's a general application portal so if you scroll down the way you apply differs depending on where you come from so you need to show where you are applying from and here we have vtac application that's domestic direct application domestic direct application international student graduate research application so you need to make sure you pay attention at this point okay so if you click on this uh direct application international student right now if you're coming to monash from overseas you will need to apply directly to the university to start your journey okay and here it says uh helpful link so before you apply they are already giving you information about the scholarship so i'm going to be clicking on the apply button because i know this is where a lot of people have difficulties navigating okay so now let's quickly uh, look at the application process when you come to this page here it says welcome to my.app here you can apply and accept offer to join monash to uh continue please log in or register so you, you you can see the information that has been provided here so this is just few information 
that has been provided for us here so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be clicking this button that says sign up here so when i click on that button then it will take us to the page where we can find the registration form okay so when we come to this page we now need to start putting in our information your first name is important your last name is important then your email address is also important then you click i'm not a robot so let me quickly do that okay so after putting in your first name your last name your email address then you want to click on this robot here so just to prove that you are not a robot and when you click that you need to solve the capture so i'm going to solve all the capture right now i think uh that should be all i'll click on verify okay so motorcycle i'm going to select that again then i click verify so so i've solved the capture now then you click on the sign up button so uh when i click on that is bringing me the capture again i just need to solve it again so okay 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 so he said welcome on board an email has been sent to you with further instruction if you pay attention you're going to see that we do not have a section where we can create a password okay so make sure the email you provided was correct check your spam if you have not received an email within 30 minutes you do not hesitate to contact us okay so i already seen this so i'll go check my email right now okay so when i get to my email account so you can see this is what i found here so this is what i found here and here it says addition additional to setting up a password you will need to register a mobile number to be able to log in into the app so that is for uh 2fa that's multi-factor uh, authentication so my username is this so i'm going to be clicking on this button here from my email so but i would prefer to copy the link okay so i haven't clicked on the link it's brought me to this page where i can now say uh i want to create a new password so i've input the password i want to use then i want to click on the button that says set password so when i click on that please follow the password quality check okay so i just need to make that password up to 14 character so including uh just alphanumeric uh case both number character test and all of those okay so now everything is set now then click on set password so when i click on that uh i think you should be able to log me into the system okay so i'm going to save it so i have access to the portal right now so this is where the main work now begin so once you have access to the portal then the next thing you want to do is uh to make sure you input the password again then also solve the capture again just to be sure that uh this is not a robot try to hijack a system okay so i'm going to solve all this capture uh, bicycle haven't solved the capture i'm going to click on login again so when i click on that then i should be able to gain access to the portal okay so now i need to input uh 2fa but i think i should be able to do this later uh okay it's not it's not possible i won't receive your very so i just need to do this so i'm going to pause this so i i input my country then i also input my phone number then uh i now see this box that says enter verification code so i'm still waiting for the verification code to enter now okay so i just received the sms code now so as you can see this white icon is my sms code so i've input my verification code then i'll click confirm code and when i input this if everything is okay then i should be able to gain access to the main portal from here okay so let's wait and see okay i think i i think i'm in now so i think i'm in now so most cases a lot of people face challenges logging into the portal uh because uh they don't follow the appropriate uh instruction so now i have access to my portal now personal details legal information country of birth gender so this is okay so as you can see here my uh 2fa is now enabled okay 
country uh information is there okay so i just need to cover some information up right now okay so after filling all of those then i want to save okay so after putting on the information then you want to click on this button that says save and continue okay so uh i'd not put in my date of birth okay so when i now submit that information so it brings me to this page where it says uh welcome sylvester your journey at monash officially start here so now you can now begin your application okay so if you click on this button it will start asking you where and what do you want to study so what do you wish to study so remember uh we saw some uh location when we were looking at the uh, artificial intelligence program okay so after putting in those information then you want to click start coursework application here this is when you want to start your application in proper and here you start filling in your personal information your study preference that's the program you want to actually uh put in uh put in for your study preference educational history uh sponsorship of prosy documents review processing fee student de declaration and then you complete your application and submit your application it is after you submit your application that you now want to start looking at the scholarship that is available here this will then lead us back to the beginning of the video okay so where i showed you information about the scholarship here you have the total scholarship value which is 100 percent cost fee paid number offered four per year okay and if you also scroll down here you can then find more information about this scholarship and information that uh related to your application okay so you must be one of the international students to apply and one of the things you you need you benefit is that you are getting 100 percent call fee paid until the minimum number of points for your degree are completed commencing undergraduate students will be invited to apply for a place in uh, monash mind a leadership program for first year student recipients may be asked to partner uh, to participate or be profile in relevant mon monash marketing recruitment and promotional material number of our four scholarships are available and if you come here you must make sure that you meet this requirement okay and as an undergraduate okay and intending to enroll in full time in an undergraduate graduate or postgraduate coursework degree at monash campus in australia you are going to receive a full monash course offer note the following students are not eligible and if you look at this section here it says undergraduate or postgraduate degree at monash campus in australia okay and if you scroll down to this section it said students enrolling in bachelor of medica bachelor of medica not all bachelor program but bachelor of medical science and doctor of medicine or master of business administration so which means if you apply to bachelor program you can get this scholarship at this university but not for this particular program that are listed here okay student in monash pathway programs university foundation year student transferring from another managed campus or applying to manage from another australian university are not also eligible for you to retain this scholarship offer you must maintain a high weight average 70 uh, mark each semester and you will be required to participate in at least three marketing or scholarship promotional activities for you to be able to apply you must make sure you submit a separate application for this scholarship which is separate for your admission application that is why i have to show you through the process you need to take to be able to apply to the school itself before you now file your application to the scholarship program before applying for this scholarship you must have received a monash course offer with no condition okay so the first thing you want to focus on is your admission to this particular school before you now go ahead to start your application okay and you can also defer within the same calendar year so if you are not going to be available as at the time the offer was given to you you can defer it to the next semester or the next semester so far is the same calendar year okay 
you do not uh, submit supporting document with your application this will not be considered okay so you must make sure uh, you submit all the right documents to support your application to this particular university okay so selection round and closing dates are listed here so you must make sure you meet up with deadline okay so this is the first scholarship offer that is available right here which is the monash international leadership scholarship and if you now go back to the second offer that we have right here this is called the quark scholarship and it's also uh for each academic year is going to start by april of each academic year so because if you look at it here it says 2023 so the data has not been updated yet on the portal so and this is 2024 already so you know we've come across this scenario many times and uh benefit eligibility you need to make sure you check this is not available for all students but you must meet the following criteria you must be citizen of main china indonesia Hong kong or southeast asian country you must be applying to uh, a program offer in any single degree okay i've not previously studied at this university and you must demonstrate that you come from a low income household you must have not commenced university study at any institution before now so all of these are things that you need to make sure you pay attention to and here it says one scholarship is available in 2023 for commencement in february in 2024 okay now let's look at the last but not the least monash university international merit so this one is the third one and this one is up to 50,000 uh 31 uh slots per year is available and all of the benefits are also listed here 10,000 per annum paid per year until the minimum number of points for your degree is completed commencing undergraduate study will be invited to apply for a place in the monash leadership which was also one of the things that we find in the first one which is the international leadership scholarship that we saw okay so you want to make sure you check out the criteria LGBT uh, process and how you can actually retain this scholarship for yourself if this video is helpful for you so before we go ahead to start the application for the scholarship itself so i want to agree that you've already uh, got an offer then what you want to do is to come to the bottom of the scholarship that applied to you there are three of these scholarships so the one that you see that it applies to you you want to make sure you click on a separate application form and when you click on this separate application form it will take you to a google form page where you can fill your information international leadership scholarship and monash uh, marriage scholarship so these are two uh, scholarship that you can apply to then you can find more information about all of this after going through this then you want to make sure you put in your email address first so when you put in your email address uh you go to the bottom click on next when you click on next then it will now ask you more information application details by then you have gotten your monash student id then you also put in your email the way you provided it on your application data your email address your phone number your nationality agent details okay all of this then you click on next so after filing everything properly you should wait for decision from the school okay so i hope this is helpful for you to take decision about if you want to apply to this scholarship today or not if you find this video useful make sure to share with a friend also drop a comment at the comment box let me know the country where you are actually watching from as at this time if you have any question also drop it at the comment box if you want to subscribe to this channel as a new member make sure you do that quickly so that you can also get notified when there's a new video for you on this channel okay so till then i'm going to catch up with you now peace out